If you're looking for the best free apps for your Windows 10 computer, the Microsoft Store is loaded with great apps for productivity and entertainment. Now with more than 500,000 apps to choose from, their selection has improved quite a bit over the last couple of years. Coming up, I will show you 10 free apps for your Windows 10 PC that you should try out. Let's get to it. First up is Adobe Photoshop Express. This easy to use, lightweight photo editing tool is for those of you that don't need the full featured version of Photoshop. It gives you the basic tools to quickly edit your photos for free with none of the features locked behind a paywall. After you've selected a photo to edit, along the left, you have a selection of looks to choose from. These are similar to the filters in Instagram. You can rotate, flip, change the aspect ratio, and straighten out your image. The corrections tab is the most useful of these. Light lets you adjust the exposure and contrast. If you have a washed out photo, go down to blacks, then adjust the slider to the left. You have five color choices, six effects, including clarity and grain. And details has the option to sharpen your image. There's a tool to heal blemishes. You can correct red eye with a single click. And there's a tab to add borders to your photos. At the top of the screen, there's an auto enhance tool that can touch up your photo with just one click. This feature is hit or miss, but may come in handy if you're in a hurry. Zoto PDF Reader and Editor is a better alternative to using the free version of Adobe Acrobat Reader. It includes more tools for editing and PDFs load faster too. Selecting the edit icon in the upper right gives you several tools to mark up your document. You can even create your own signature. If you select view mode to help protect your eyes, there's even an option for night mode. When compared to many of the free PDF readers I've used, Zoto is one of the best. Ear Trumpet just may be the best app that you never knew you needed. Quite simply, it allows you to quickly change the volume for any specific app. In your taskbar, Ear Trumpet looks just like the sound icon. When you select it, you can see the volume control for every program that you have opened, with sliders to quickly change the volume. Ditto Clipboard is a superior clipboard tool than what is included with Windows. It allows you to save any type of information, including text, images, or anything else that you can normally copy, allowing you access to those items at a later time. Ditto Clipboard also lives in the taskbar. All of your clipboard items can be found here. Just select the copied item that you need, hit Ctrl C on your keyboard, and paste it wherever you need it. Going into settings, you have several choices, including saving your current clipboard to be used later on. Fused is a cool blending app that can help you to create interesting effects for your photos and videos. Here's how it works. First, select your background photo. You could leave it square or choose original. Click the check mark to move on. Now select your foreground photo. To accept it, hit the check mark again. Now you'll have a blend of two photos. This one is not so great. Selecting Blends will give you several types of blends to play around with. Adjust will let you change the contrast, exposure, and brightness. It includes masking tools, along with tools to crop, rotate, and flip your image. And when you're done, in the upper right corner, you can save your project to your computer. Duolingo, the popular language learning app for Android and iOS, also has an app for Windows with 16 languages to choose from. When you first launch the app, select the course that you would like to take. I'll go with Italian. Now it's going to ask you to pick a daily goal. I'll just leave it on regular. Then select continue. Then on the course page, start at the top and follow the instructions. Fanboys can argue all day about their favorite music services. But if you're looking for a quality app in the Microsoft Store for listening to music, Spotify is the absolute best I've used with Windows 10. In addition to all the various listening options, selecting devices available in the lower right will let you stream to another connected device in your home. To listen to Spotify for free, it is ad supported. For an ad free on-demand experience, Spotify Premium will set you back about $10 per month. ShareX is an open source screenshot and screen recording tool that can be customized to fit your needs. 
with a lot more features than the snipping tool in Windows 10. ShareX is not your standard screenshot program. It's packed full of features. I'll go over the basics you'll need to know to get started. Selecting Capture, you have several screenshot options. The primary ones most people use include Full Screen, Window, Monitor, and Region, which is my personal favorite. Selecting it, you can click and drag out the portion of the screen for your screenshot. Let go when you're done. Now you'll have several options for saving and marking up your image. When you're done, click on the green check mark. You can view any of the images by selecting the file name. When using this app, it's recommended that you use keyboard shortcuts. Going down to hotkey settings, we'll show you the defaults which can be edited to your preferred shortcuts. There's so much more that you can do with this app. If you plan on trying out ShareX, I'd recommend checking out the many tutorials available online. Crystal DiskMark is an open source benchmark utility that tests the read and write speeds of your hard disk or solid state drives. It's simple to use. There are three drop down boxes. Make sure to leave the first one on five for the number of test passes. If you're pressed for time, leave the second one on one gigabyte. Otherwise, for a more accurate reading to reflect how a large database will work, I usually use 32, but I'll leave it on one for now. For the third drop down, Select the drive that you'd like to benchmark. In my case, the C drive is an SSD and the D drive is a hard disk drive. I'll leave it on C for now. Then to the far left, click on all. It'll take a few minutes to complete. I'll jump to the end. Without getting overly technical, you'll get the results of a sequential test along with three 4K tests with various Q depths. If you've just installed an SSD into your computer, this is a cool benchmark when comparing it to a hard disk drive or other SSDs you may own. I've mentioned several code editors in past videos, but those that are available in the Microsoft Store, CodeWriter is the best that I've used. It's a definite step up from using Notepad, which is built into Windows 10. It supports more than 20 popular file types and comes with active syntax highlighting. In the settings in the lower right, it can be customized to fit your needs. If you've been looking for a new code editor, check out CodeWriter. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Let me know in the comments if you know of a free app in the Microsoft Store that's worth trying out. If you haven't done so already, share this video with others, subscribe, and make sure to ring the bell so you don't miss out on the latest software videos and other tech-related stuff from TechGumbo.